Okay, today I'm working on Halloween costumes. Every year we do like a family themed costume um, and we do this thing called Strut Your Mutt, which is a costume contest parade at the dog park and we win every year. So last year's theme we did um, a firefighter theme and we made the wagon. I made it into look like a fire truck and then Connor was a firefighter and the dogs were firefighters and the baby was a Dalmatian and the year before that Connor was a chef and the dogs were lobsters. That was really cute. And then the year before that me and Connor and the dogs were bumblebees and Chris was a beekeeper. So this year we're doing a fish fisherman theme. So Connor's going to be a fisherman, Aiden's going to be a fish. The dogs I'm still trying to figure out, I think one of them might be a fisherman and then the other will either reuse a lobster costume we have or I saw a really great idea to make a uh, scuba diving costume out of recycled water bottles. So I might try that. Um, or maybe I'll make him a fish. I don't know, something easy. The dogs I like to do easy because the kids I spend a lot of time on. So for Connor, I got him, his costume was very easy. I got this hat on Amazon and then I just like stitched a bobber that we had from a fishing party. His second birthday was gone fishing themed so I have a bunch of fish stuff which is great. So I stitched one of these on there and then I'm going to get some feathers to make them look like the tackle. I don't know what those are called, but the fishing things that have the bait, I guess. So I'll do some of that. And this hat was like, I don't know, like $6 on Amazon. So that was easy. Then I went to this store called Once Upon a Child, which is like a secondhand children's consignment shop. So that's where I get all my costume pieces. So Connor, I got this vest. I don't want to spend money on a fishing vest. Those are very expensive, and he, who knows if he'll even like fishing or want to do it one day. So, um, this vest though, it's just like a puffer vest that I got at uh, the consignment shop for I think five dollars. And then I stitched the little bobbers on there. And then I'll get when I get the bait, I'll or figure out what to do with that. I'll stitch that on there. But I think that looks pretty fishermanly enough. And then I got him just like a basic flannel shirt that was $5. So that was a good deal. Then for Aiden, who's going to be the fish, I already have part of it together. So um, I bought him matching sweatshirt and leggings. And the sweatshirt, it was just this blue sweatshirt. I think it was five dollars and um, it has a hood and then I got him matching pants which I found in the girls section to match to this blue um, just plain leggings the, the I think they're in the other room but they're like this color so I did two different colors and then the sweatshirt and then for the scales I just cut these out of felt I got two different colors of felt and then I just traced and cut out a bunch of scales pinned them on in rows so I'm gonna stitch that all on now and then I got them these are so cool I found these at Michael's these like glittery eyeballs that totally match perfectly so I'll glue these to the side and then we'll have a fish costume so that'll be cute and I think that and then oh I made this I cut out of felt too for like a little tail um, or like a fin. So this I'm going to stitch and then I'm going to stuff it and I think it'll be a fin and I'll put it like here or maybe it'll be a tail and I'll do it like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to stitch it now.
Okay, so I have it all stitched together. This is how it looks. And I'm just cutting all the threads. Um, I'm going to make sure that it zips. When you're stitching the scales on, you just want to make sure you don't stitch over the zipper because then you won't be able to close it. But look how cute it is. So I just have to trim all the threads and clean it up a little bit. And then we'll do the eyes. And um, if you don't know how to sew, just glue it on. Um, I know how to sew and sometimes I just glue anyways because it seems easier. This I think would have been a little messy because there's so many scales it would have taken a long time to dry. Unless you super glue it, that's pretty, dries pretty fast. But um, when you're sewing, if you are sewing, you place all the scales in rows. So then all you have to do is you put it on the machine and you just go down the lines, go down the rows. So you don't have to do each scale individually. Um, that makes it a lot easier. So I'm just checking for threads. And if you have, if I had blue thread, I would have used that. That would have looked a little bit better. Um, but I just used what I had and I had white. I have blue somewhere, I just don't know where. I need to organize. I don't sew a lot at home, so I never really know where anything is. But um, again, I'm just cleaning it up, make sure, making sure all the threads are gone. And I just throw my threads on the floor. It's a bad habit. Um, but I sweep after. I don't know what other people do with their threads. Do, they, do you guys just throw it on the floor or do you have a better system? I just throw it on the floor and then I sweep it up. Um, all right. And Aiden is sleeping right now. Well, he's supposed to be sleeping. I hear him talking in there. But um, when he is up, we'll try it on him. And then I'll show you the boat that I made. I took cardboard. I'll actually show you right now. I took cardboard and um, tried to like shape it into a rowboat um, that's going to go over our wagon. And then Connor helped me paint it. It's over here. We're still in the process. But so I took cardboard. And then I kind of shaped it um, and I duct taped around and around and around. And then Connor helped me paint um, the white. And then I did a red border. Um, you could actually do that with red tape if you wanted. This is just a piece that I cut out of cardboard that I taped in there also to give like the front that look. And then. Um, I don't know what this number is on boats, but they always have a number. I guess maybe it's like the license to the boat. I don't know. But I did the Halloween date for our numbers. And then I'm going to put a name. You know, boats always have names. So our last name's Kowalski. So I think I'm going to do Killer Kowalski on the back. And then this is just going to slip over our wagon. And I cut out an opening right here so the handle can come through. And then Connor's got a fishing pole that he's going to have. And then these are leftover decorations from a birthday party we had. So I think I'm going to like just hang them like on the side. Nicer than that, obviously. Okay. So we... I'm going to try this um, Julet embellishing glue. It's just what I had, so that's what we're using. It's supposed to adhere to the fabric. Aiden, can you come here? Oh, you got some spoons? Yeah. 
thank you. You you, you can do the spoons. Okay, let me see if that works. Hey Aiden, let me see if I have this in the right spot. One eyeball, and we'll do the other one on the other side. Can I have that eyeball? Thank you. to go pick Connor up soon. Okay. Googly eyes.